Hi, welcome to Jade Kind Gaming. I'm Adam, and today I have an unboxing of a few of the spellbook cards for Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, these were put out by uh, Gale Force Nine, I believe. Yeah, Gale Force Nine. And generally, what I have is I have um, another of the original ones, which is the Paladin deck, uh, which I haven't gotten yet. I also got uh, Paladin Oaths. Which is essentially, because the Paladin deck has the spells that are in the back of the player's handbook for Paladin. Paladin Oaths are those extra spells that are in the actual, like, description. You know, some of the Paladin, you know, each of the Paladins get at a certain, you know, certain points. Here are extra spells. It provides those spells. Druid Circles. Since I already have the Druids, uh, I, I did an unboxing of that previously. I, I got that a, a while back. Um, well, this adds for the Circle of the Land, I believe. They get, you know, depending on what type of land they choose, they get extra spells. This adds those. And Spellbook Cards Elemental, which are the spells that were in the D&D Player's Companion for Elemental Evil. They released one of those, so you can have those on Spellbook Cards as well. So I have all four of those, and that's those are what I'm going to be unboxing for you today and checking out. Um... So let's take them down here and start here with the Paladin. Yeah, these are Wizards of the Coast with Gale Force 9 is who made these. Um, I guess Gale Force 9 licensed from Wizards. Um, So we have the Paladin cards here, which of course Paladins are uh, partial casters, so they don't have nearly as many spells. Um, but you know, the backs, they have the symbol that was in the player's handbook for Paladin, and they have this lovely, it's like a light blue color. And they have their spells on them. They are the same, you know, they, some of them kind of stick together when they're first out of the packaging. They are the same thickly laminated, seem that almost you could write on with like a wet erase marker kind of lamination. Um, if you haven't watched any of the other videos that I've done on these, essentially what they are is, um, and all of them are like this, um, the spell book, uh, the back of them has the spell level, and then on the front you get, you know, the name, first, you know, the level, what type of spell, it's an enchantment, casting time, range, components, and duration. If it's concentration, it'll let you know. Um, and then a description, and then the ones that have things that, yes, not all of them do, but the ones that have at higher levels also have that on there. Um, just for, you know, all the spells that are available. So you can, you know, uh, and, and also, some of them don't all fit on there, so like Find Steed, rather detailed spell. See page 240. So it tells you where to where to find the spell if it doesn't all fit on the uh, the card. Yeah. So those are the normal Paladin spells. Then we also get the Paladin oaths. are tightly packed in here. <laughs> okay. That's not enough. There we go. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, they'd uh, also be better to compare. Hmm. They're not, 
They're not the kind of thing that will necessarily work to randomly generate, even for a level. Uh, it's not what it's intended, but I did wonder that. There are slight difference. This one almost seems to have a little more texture on the one that was for the uh, for the original deck, and also, of course, it has an older copyright date. <laughs> but uh, but otherwise, in general, they're not going to stand out if you have them, you know, all laid out kind of thing. Um, but unlike these ones that just said Paladin at the bottom, this one will say Paladin Vengeance, Paladin Ancients. It will tell you actually which oath. Um, it goes for, so they've added that, um, Ancients and Vengeance, so, again, very similar, but other, uh, other than the fact that they do add that information, and it is new spells. There we go. Now it's Check out the Druid Circles. To complete the Druid cards that I've gotten before. You can watch that unboxing elsewhere on my channel. And again, same way. Druid Desert, Druid Swamp, Grassland, Swamp, Coast, etc. Druid Forest, Mountain, and Underdark. <laughs> There's Spider Climb. But yeah, they have the, uh, the different spells uh, added and what area. Um, and of course, these are only the spells that are not both on the, the list of the land and in the original deck. If it was already in the original deck, it did not get re repeated in here. So it's not a full renewal of those. Um, now we have the elemental. Which these, there's the exact number of cards. <laughs> oh yeah, it's gonna be. I'm like, let's see how this actually ends up looking. So we have like, oh wow, huh? Interesting. Um, my guess is that these two spells are only. For these other classes here. No, they they didn't give any new paladin spells, did they? Let's see. Destructive wave, is that in here? No. That's interesting, and a little confusing. These two spells on either end of this deck are, are, I mean, they're not from this. I mean, because for the elemental, essentially, um, you know, like the back of this would have this, um, where you have this symbol on the back of these. The way it determines it is it says elemental when it has this little symbol here. Um, and of course we have the cantrips um, going on the first level and they're all just labeled elemental and they have like the the symbol that's from the elemental evil on the back of it um, you know with the symbols down at the bottom but there were also these cards on either end and that's Interesting. I don't know why. But anyways, so 
that's what was in the Elemental Evil <laughs> cards. You know, again, it's it's just the spells um, from the Player's Companion, and it tells you it has the symbols to match to your your deck. So essentially, you'll just match these in addition to the actual ones from whatever deck it happens to be from. Okay. I just counted these cards. Um, there are supposed to be 43 elemental cards in here, and that was these, except there were 45 in total. The arcane and the pouting card on either end, they were just... they were extras? Uh, I don't know why they were there. They were not supposed to be there. The elemental... The Spellbook Cards Elemental says contains 43 durable laminated cards detailing elemental cantrips and spells, a perfect reference uh, tool for spellcasters of every type. The, the other two, they were from something else. I do not know why they ended up in there, but I do have all 43 of the normal elemental cards, plus two bonus cards? <laughs> um... Yeah, that's... I mean, I'm sure... Uh, yeah, like, so I have an extra Destructive Wave from, you know, I just had the Paladin deck, and this was an extra one that was in here. So yeah, I don't really know why, um, or what happened, but it looks like some sort of factory mistake. Um, I'd love to hear if anyone else also had the factory mistake, ended up with the same cards. Um, but in general, my suggestion would be, don't expect to arbitrarily get an extra Arcane and Paladin card. You should just get the ones that were in the middle, the 43 elemental cards. I do not know what happened. <laughs> but, okay. Yeah. Hey, now I have one of the arcane cards. I haven't gotten that deck yet. So useful by itself, I'm sure. <laughs> anyways, so that was, that was kind of cool. Not, so anyways, that was, uh, of course, the elemental deck with its little bit of a mistake. Um, but it was a mistake that gave me extra stuff, not... Not less than stuff. That's, of course, got the uh, normal Paladin deck, the Paladin Oaths, and the Druid Circles, which is really the Druid Circle of the Land, because the Circle of the Moon doesn't give extra spells. It just makes you better at transforming. But yeah, so those were, were those four uh, decks. They're all either small or tiny little decks. Um, but uh, I'm working my way on collecting all of them. Um, I, I've barely gotten to use any, uh, but as a DM, they have been useful when I have been able to just not have to print out the cards. Um, so they are useful when I have them. So, because <laughs> otherwise I'd, I'd usually print out a sheet of a monster's spell so I don't have to reference the player's handbook. And that can require either scanning pages or typing up bits, and it's just much easier. Much, much less prep work. Um, but yeah, so those are a handful of the uh, Spellbook card decks. Um, so I'll put a link down below where you can find them. Uh, check them out. Have a good day. <laughs>